Hi, my name is Courtney Perdios. I'm a current member of the Quincy School Committee, appointed earlier this year to fill a vacancy through the end of the year. I've loved every minute that I've had so far of standing up and speaking out for our students, families, and teachers, and I'm running this fall for the opportunity to continue to serve on the school committee. I live in Quincy Point with my husband, Steve, and our three children, Casey, MJ, and Hannah, and our puppy, Loki. My two oldest are in sixth and eighth grade at Central Middle School in the APC program, and my youngest is a fifth grader at Point Webster Middle School. We are longtime volunteers in our community. In addition to being members of Friends of Faxon Park, the Quincy Environmental Network, and the Ward 2 Civic Association, we're also active parishioners at St. Joseph's Church, and we led the effort to bring the Community Preservation Act to Quincy in 2006, which has funded many projects across the city, including preserving land for open space, supporting affordable housing, creating outdoor classrooms, and improving school playgrounds. And for the past eight years, I've been a strong parent advocate for our school system. From increasing family engagement and building community as co-president of Clifford Marshall PTO, to regularly bringing parent concerns to the superintendent and school leaders as co-president of Citywide PTO, I've spent years actively working to heighten parent voices and better our school system. I'd like to describe to you five things that I bring with me to the school committee. First, I bring with me the voice and perspective of a parent with children in our school system right now. I th think it's especially clear now, after these last 18 months, that it's more important than ever to have parents on our school committee who have children enrolled in our school system in order to understand how the policies and decisions we make are affecting our students. Second, I bring with me a proven record of standing up for our students and families. I led the effort to keep fourth graders out of the new Southwest Middle School and have long been a passionate advocate for bringing the fifth grade back to Clifford Marshall and Lincoln Hancock so families in those neighborhoods would no longer need to send their 10-year-olds off to middle school a year earlier than families in the other nine elementary schools across the city do. Third, I bring with me a strong independent voice. I'm not a rubber stamp. I have always and will continue to thoroughly research issues, to ask tough questions, and to look at issues from every perspective to make sure we're making decisions based on what's best for our students. Fourth, I bring with me an unparalleled work ethic. Getting into the weeds of the issues facing our school system takes a lot of time and effort to fully research, talk with people about, and work collaboratively to solve them. But that's the part of the job that I actually love the most. I've shown that I'm willing to put in that work like I did as a member of Quincy Public Schools COVID Reentry Task Force, Homework Policy Committee, and Advanced Curriculum Planning Team, as well as on the state's Gifted and Talented Advisory Council. And lastly, I bring with me the goal of breaking down walls and building relationships. I've spent years forming relationships with families across the city. I've always sought out and valued the perspective of teachers in our school system, and I'm very proud to have the endorsement of the Teachers Union here in Quincy. Likewise, I'm also proud to be endorsed by the Norfolk County Labor Council and many local unions in our area. Connections with leaders in our labor force can help us expand our vocational and technical education programs beyond high school and assist students in getting started on a career path in the trades. Right now, my number one priority is supporting our students, teachers, and staff as they continue to transition back into the classroom full time. Checking in often with our school community and shifting resources to address whatever needs arise will continue to be one of my goals until we are through the worst of the pandemic. There are also a lot of longer term projects I'm really excited to continue to advocate for and work on while I'm on the school committee. As I mentioned earlier, finding a way to bring fifth graders back to Clifford Marshall and Lincoln Hancock is an issue I've worked tirelessly on over the last few years and one I'll continue to advocate for. I'd also like to continue adding more challenging academic opportunities to students working above grade level in our younger grades and supporting their unique social emotional needs so they stay engaged, challenged, and excited about learning. I want to ensure we're continually investing in our older school buildings so that students there have access to the same resources and opportunities as students in our newer school buildings do. I also want to improve communication and always work to reach out to and include voices of our families, students, teachers, and staff on every issue we tackle. We also have more work to do to make the path to receive, receiving special education services easier to navigate. Serving on the school committee these past eight months has been so much more than a job to me. It's truly been an honor and a privilege to be able to speak up for our students and advocate for families and teachers while working to make lasting change and improvements in our school system. I would love nothing more than the opportunity to continue doing this work. So I respectfully ask for one of your three votes for school committee on Tuesday, November 2nd. Thank you.